No, you guys, back tonight. Right, we're back in Haiku Alpha 3. Oh, yeah, Alpha 3. I'm going to install it. Right, do remember you have to partition your disk before you start. Haiku won't do that for you, okay? So we've got the installer. Um, we'll click on the installer and just read through it until it can go bang and then it's not it's an alpha stuff and it goes bang, 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 bang. Tells you about grub if you want to do grub with another system. But we're, we're using it on one system here, so that's no big deal. So, he has no partitions for it to use for Haiku. So we have to go to set up partitions, use your whole disk that you've set up for it. I've set up a big one here for it, an 8 gig one. You go to initialize and you need to go to BE file system. Okay, click on that and then click continue. Just accept all the defaults here for the time being. Once you get used to Haiku, you can do whatever you like. Then you write the changes, okay. So that's all done. All done. So whether you've done some swap file or anything else whatsoever, it don't really matter because Haiku works a completely different way to Linux. Okay. So we introduce our install system. So that's the one we just made, the eight gigabyte one. What do we do? Well, all you do is click begin, and now it starts installing all for you. Okay. Now, when you do gparted or CF disk or whatever you're using as your partition manager, you must make it bootable. Because if you don't make it bootable, what's going to happen is, after it installs and you try and boot from the hard disk, it'll go, nah, mate, I ain't doing it, mate, I'm not coming out to play. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. As you can see, I've got lots of activity going down in my disks and my RAM, and I think it's all done and working hunky-dory. And yes, I have cut this video because it takes about six minutes to install. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not kidding you. This is the old dual com machine. It takes six minutes to install. And you sh there is no repos in Haiku, but you can get other stuff. You can get Gimpy, you can get Audacity, you can get lots and lots of other stuff. There's lots of stuff imported over to Haiku. And as far as I know, there's lots of uh, audio stuff and video stuff getting going down there. It does now support wireless stuff. Admittedly, only WEP encryption, not very good. So we need to get some WPA stuff going down and getting down dirty with that stuff, sort of stuff, you know what I mean? But yeah. As you can see, I'm trying to talk through the installation process here. I've cut it quite a few times, just to make it a bit quicker, so you don't have to watch like me just talking to you for five minutes of total crap, really. But anyway, we're halfway there. Look, that's all right, yeah. We're getting on down. Yeah, it's all right. Get stuck a bit there. I'll cut it there. We're nearly there. But basically, all you do is this. But make sure that partition is bootable, otherwise it is not going to work. Once it's booted up into the hard drive, mate, it's so fast, it's unbelievable. Booting up Haiku from this system takes about four to five seconds, shutting down about two and a half. Now, if you can get used to the old BOS style of doing stuff, and BOS comes back from back in the day before some of you was even born, so it's not actually Linux at all. It's it's its own thing. Now, if you're going to check it out, go into their wiki and have a little look. And if you Google BOS, you'll find out even more to find out about it, because there's lots of stuff to learn. So this is stuff from back in the day that's been brought back because I think it's cool, which I do. Oh, there we go. Look. Installation complete. That's what I like to see. Oh my god, lovely jubbly. So all you do now, I'll just read it for you. Boots blah 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 blah. Make sure it's bootable. I've said it ten times now. We do is quit now and restart the system from the hard drive. That's all you need to do. That is it. Right, next video we're going to install some stuff from the online repositories. They're not repositories. They're just websites. But we do that. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Sneaky Linux out. I love you, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.